Alrighty, what is up Hustle family? I hope you are all having an amazing day. Now today we're going to do something that we haven't done in a while, which is pretty much just a ride along for the day. So as we go to donate, as we go picking through thrift stores, whatever we find or whatever we strike out on, you guys are going to be right there with me. On a side note, we just installed these cool blue LEDs around the room. I think they're awesome and they're really kind of setting a cool tone for our future live videos and whatnot. But enough rambling, let's go and hit the road and see what we can find today. All right guys, so we're at Goodwill, but before we go in and pick, we need to drop off all of those books to the donation center. Now, we drop off all of our duds here because we can write off fair market value, which Goodwill dictates is $1 to $2 per book. So we write off $1.50 per book and we get a little donation receipt that'll give us 20% off anything we purchase inside Goodwill. So let's go ahead and get these dropped off. All right guys, let me stop here to tell you this super important piece of information whenever you donate to goodwill you need to make sure you get one of these this tax receipt is the only reason we can write off all those books let me try and get this glare out of here this tax receipt which must be signed or initialed by the person that actually receives the books if you don't have this and you get audited come tax time you're in for a world of hurt so don't put yourself through that if you donate to goodwill make sure you get one of these little blue tax receipts right here and in some places Okay, on the back, if you cut it off, you get a 20% discount on everything you buy in Goodwill. So, big wins all the way around, guys. You get the tax write-off, you get the 20% off coupon, and there's a lot of other things. Uh, if you follow Goodwill's Facebook page, you'll get 5 to 20% off all the time. So, let's go into Goodwill and see what we can find. Fingers crossed, Goodwill... They've started scanning their books. Now, they did a lot on eBay uh, already, and they have the Goodwill auction site, but now they have goodwillbooks.com, and they've started scanning their books in a lot of areas. So we haven't found much here lately, but let's go in and see if we can find anything, and then we'll go to the next thrift store. And of course, we're taking you guys along with us. Now, I also wanted to mention on Facebook, the Hustle Family Facebook group is now up and running. We just launched it last week. We already got about 100 members. It's an amazing community all ready to go and ask questions and just conversate with other like-minded entrepreneurs like myself and like you. So let's go ahead and go in and see what we find. All right, guys, so find number one. It's an 800,000 rank. We're gonna pay $2.99 and we will get $49.99 on FBA. Not a bad start. Alrighty, so another one will pay $1.99. We will get thirteen fifty merchant fulfilled at a seven hundred thousand rank. Two ninety nine. We'll get nineteen ninety nine merchant fulfilled and a dollar ninety nine, and we will get twenty five merchant fulfilled. Not bad. All right, guys. So I know we don't really do eBay anymore at all, but at a dollar ninety nine a piece, these brand new Boardwalk Empires are about thirty dollars a piece on eBay. So at a buck ninety nine, we really can't pass them up. We also found another Outlander sealed, about twenty five bucks on Amazon, and this guy right here is super weird, uh, but he's about twenty three dollars. So, alrighty guys, so a surprisingly super successful trip to Goodwill that doesn't happen often. We spent. Ah, I'm covering it. So $21.90, but after our discount, we spent $18.66. And right here we have about $260 in gross sales. So probably about $200 in profit after everything is said and done. So now we're going to go to the next thrift store, which is my favorite thrift store. Odds are probably going to be we're going to strike out at my favorite thrift store because we scored at my least favorite thrift store. But regardless, if we win or if we lose, you're going to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button real quick for the YouTube algorithm and we're gonna go to the next thrift store. Alrighty, thrift store number two, let's go. Alright guys, so I didn't record in there because they were just blasting the music, there was kids screaming, it was just not a fun time. I only spent 10 minutes in there. Um, I spent, let me show you, get the door a total grand whopping amount of seven dollars and 42 cents what did we get for our seven dollars well we got this guy right here for a dollar it'll be merchant fulfilled it'll sell super super quick and we will get about 13 dollars for it 
And the other thing we got, we got three more books here. Um, this is a set that we build. It's the Great and Terrible set. So we got volume three, four, and five of those. It's a six volume set. And whenever we can make a full set, it easily sells for $69. Um, we just sold one the other day for $69.95, Merchant Fulfilled. And at $2 a book, a set of 12 or a set of six is only going to be $12. So $12 into $70 is not bad. That's one thing you really want to look out for. If you can piece a set together, even if you can just find a couple of books from the set, eventually, eventually, trust me here, guys, you're going to find the rest of that set. So, um, yeah, not bad. We've been out for about uh, an hour and a half now. We got that massive Goodwill score. We got a pretty good score at that thrift store as well. Not amazing. Not as much as Goodwill, but we will take it. So now uh, I think we're going to hit up one more thrift store and then we have to go and handle shipping because we have a ton of shipping. I think we had uh, 23 or 24 items come through since we finished shipping yesterday at five o'clock. So we have a bunch to get through there. Um, but let's go hit up one more thrift store on the way home. All right, thrift store number three. Let's see what we find. Excuse me.
Well, wasn't that just one massive waste of time? That's okay though. Uh, in total today, we've spent about an hour and 45 minutes out here and we will profit about 220 off of everything that we did uh, in this two hours. So cannot complain with $110 an hour. I will take that all day. We're gonna head home and do the shipping. Once we do the shipping, we're gonna run it all over and then we will come back and the rest of our day will be uh, consumed by updating our pricing and making sure, making sure everything is flowing smoothly. Also, we need to list those uh, Boardwalk Empire season sets on eBay. So we're gonna do that. But I appreciate you guys coming along with me for a short little ride today. I'm gonna try and keep pushing out content for you as I've been slacking. I know, I'm sorry, um, but we are gonna get that content up for you guys more often, more steady. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button as that is really the only support I ask for. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Stats show that about 60% of you watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So I'd appreciate hitting that subscribe button. And if you wanna go further and get notifications anytime I drop new content, hit that little bell icon as well. But for now, make sure that you guys are forever, just forever learning, growing, expanding what you think is possible. I guarantee you guys that the only thing stopping you is that wall that is fear, that is something that only you created and only you can break past. So just get out there and do it guys. Stay motivated, keep the hustle life strong.